There's a few more stories I wanted to share with you today, so let's do it. It's time for Jankovision. Interesting name. Up first, the Republicans are apparently jealous of my regular show's name and attitude, so they tweak the Young Turks to become the Young Guns. And now they're pretending to be cool. Let's take a look at these goofballs. The new team is ready to bring America back. Eric Cantor, Kevin McCarthy, Paul Ryan, Young Guns, a new generation of conservative leaders. I just love that. How awkward is Eric Cantor's smile? Has anyone ever been less cool? Cantor, Ryan, and McCarthy, you are no Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, and Lou Diamond Phillips. By the way, you know what's in the book? Two words. Tax cuts. Want to stimulate the economy? Tax cuts. Want to balance the budget? Though it makes no sense, tax cuts. Want to cure your dog's cancer? Tax cuts. Want to rotate your tires? Tax cuts. Fresh new Republican ideas leading us back into the 19th century. Next, we already know that Troy Palomalo's hair is a big part of his image. Right, no, I want to know about the game-winning interception. Head and shoulders, the seven great things for my scalp and hair. Didn't ask about your hair, Troy. You asked with your eyes, Trent. You asked with your eyes. Now Head and Shoulders is insuring the Pittsburgh Steelers' hair for one million dollars. I can't believe I did that. They say that if his hair was laid out end to end, it would span 100 football fields. Judging from that picture, I kind of believe them. That's a lot of hair. But what could possibly happen to his hair? It's not like this guy's at any chance of going bald anytime soon. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that could happen. That was Larry Johnson tackling by the hair in 06. All right, look, we were wondering what we could insure on my body with Lloyds of London. My main outstanding feature is, unfortunately, my gut. But I'm not sure that's worth anything, and I might be better off if I lost it. Then we realized since my Jersey Shore nickname is The Conversation, we could insure my mouth, but I'm not sure we get much for that either. So, now look, the last story is just plain fun. No one misinterprets American culture better than Turkish pop singers. And now a man by the name of Ismail YK has a new song called Facebook. Unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to get this out of your head. <laughs> by the way, I get to flex the least useful skill in America for this story. I can translate his Turkish for you. He says he loves Facebook because he met this really hot girl on it. Can you believe it? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Throwing even a little Turkish dancing in. A little more like this, but 